Okay, good news, you guys. We have ourselves a victory. Another one. Another triumph over RC. Uh, yeah. Problems. So, anyway, which what? Oh, RC adversity. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> anyway, which what? I finally found the. Focus. There you go. Finally found this little pin drive. Now I want to put the other pin drive on here as well, so you can see the difference between the two. It's a very big difference. See how that one is this is bigger in every way. Every dimension. It's longer, it's fatter. So that's going to then let me show you the the two pieces that it uses. A little side comparison of that. Whichever one you're looking at. Now what part is the GPM is bigger than the stock. This is the GPM over here. This is the stock over here. And even when you get to this part, so a vast size difference. So glad I finally found the part. Now I can put this back together. So where is? Okay, where is everything? So I got all the parts here lined up, ready to go. Seriously, I th I'm really th thinking of getting some Loctite so I could just take the piece off. I mean, so the piece won't come off again. Now let's zoom out. Turn this back towards me. Right, now I'm gonna move it closer and I can zoom a little. Now this is how we're going to do this. Bring that there. And let's get this part. Let's get all the parts lined up. drive pin. This is a really big drive pin. That's what she said. I've had so many parts of RCs just fall off and end up in the street somewhere. And so far, um, somewhere around, let's see, 10 and 4. At least that I count it any which one. Okay, so let's get the Okay, that's why I hate it. the piece keeps falling off inside the truck. Oddly enough, the 
magnet is not strong enough to take care of this. Okay, matter of fact, I'm going to do this in my lap. And uh, I'm not going to be able to get this on camera. Stick that little thing in there. Probably gonna end up cutting this. Okay, we got it lined up. That's in there. Second thing here is hard. And that's also what she said. This is crazy. Now I got the thing on here. Correctly. Okay, we're back. Got all the parts in place. So now is my favorite part. Well, I'm still thinking about putting some tape on here. Okay, voila, we got four-wheel drive back again. But that was the only problem that I had with this truck. You see the little gap right here. So now I'm going to go along and fix this. Give me a minute. Fixing these things. I really wish they made it easier for you to take this off. I wish you could take the link off without taking the Without taking the shock off at the same time. So, so I'm going to get this out. And I'm going to use some pliers to unscrew this little cap. Uh, 
Okay, so I could do it with my hand at this current time. It's about to rain, so hopefully I could get out into some nice, decent rain, into some slickness. You know, I don't know why this part came out. I'm going to assume this is the part that came out before. Now, if you notice, I haven't taken the buy all because it's actually easier to work on these trucks, especially the Rubicon where you have the body still on. No tip. It's just that it keeps sliding back and forth on the table. Okay, now this one, use the regular rent. I don't got one in my pocket. I don't know, it's one on the table. Oh. Yeah, this table's a mess. Okay. Those two pieces off. And I have access to the nut. Take a pair of near nose pliers. Is this the right size? No, it is not. I hate this thing. I keep forgetting which one is which. Which one has the fat one on it. Oh, the oh god! <coughs> oh shit, that hurt. Anyways, what? Problem with the SEX10? The plastics they use were really weak, and I'm glad I got the kit that came with the Mel Links. Also, it would have been shit's creep without a pal. Now, actually, you notice I put metal, I put new links here. Oh, you yeah, already went with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'll take this out. Essentially, all I gotta do is just screw it back in. Sometimes this bolt don't want to come out. Sometimes I hey, just take a pair of pliers. Well, you don't have to take the whole right in out. This right end is getting bad. If this right end fails on me again, I am definitely going to replace it with one of the metal pieces that I have left. Here's a quick tip on the rod ends. Especially if you're using the plastic ones. Well, no, even if you're using the metal ones, uh, you can use this technique. Take take the right, take this little three millimeter or four millimeter, whatever you use. Screw it into here first. screwing too deep. 
Then you go to the link and then you screw on to the link. And like I said, I do have some metal rod ends. Look, I put metal rod ends in. I'm going to have to change a couple of things. Here's a good way to test it because it's actually holding. I'm not trying to put the whole weight of the car on it, but uh, you can notice I'm not actually lifting it all the way off the table. So now it's time to get my screw and my nut and screw it back on. Here's my screw. Okay, so where's that nut at? First you put the nut in here. So that's another reason why the why this popped off because when this popped off it put extra stress on here. But I will I will be doing something to make sure this is a little, a little more secure. See my problem is I went and I was a little irresponsible. I'm not really blaming this too much on GPM because you can't really blame them for a part going bad when another part went bad I'm trying to line this nut with the hole. So it was actually a way you actually could have did this to make it so you could avoid all this BS. You don't have to tighten stuff. One thing I do like, you don't have to tighten things up too much on this truck. Just a little tight is all you need. Now it's ready for the trail again. Well, like I said, I'm going to wrap this up with something before I go on another run. Everything's working again. Yeah, you kind of wonder what these these are Duratrex lockups. Bought them for my slash. Use them on the SCX10. Actually, they they work, they work very well on this this truck, especially when you climb up a nice steep hill. I'm still having some power issues because my truck is way heavier than what it is stock. Got way more metal on here than what I did when I first started this thing. All that metal we used to extra weight. That and now I stuck that high tech the high tech servo on here. 
So that's probably zapping a little power from the system. Now, I mean, I have enough, I have enough power on here for the high tech servo to function and for the motor to function, but the motor is not getting the power that it needs in order to keep itself up and running when I'm climbing up a hill. For instance, when I put a heavy load on it. I know for a fact the motor has more than enough power to be able to drag the truck even with the extra weight, but you got a load in the form of weight, and then you got the form load in the form of electricity. This is two major loads being put on this truck. Another thing I should do is see if I could change these these angles on the the axle. Well, I can't do anything about the front, but I definitely can do something. Actually, wait, no, another thing, I probably could do something about the front. What is this? A hundred. So, a hundred and six millimeters. Could change that out. For something like, uh, say, straight 100 millimeters. Good thing if I change that out, that'll make all my links black again. Okay, so that's it for the update. The servo's working well. Uh, the one thing I, do, I don't know if I mentioned in any previous videos. So far, where is that piece at? This thing that came with the SEX10. This is this is for high tech servos. This thing is a piece of shit. I mean, uh, although then again, I did have a pretty nasty fall. But it, actually, no, I had no, 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 no. I'm gonna take that back. I had nasty falls when I had the other silver horn when I had the tractors on here I had some the same fall it didn't break now maybe it was because the tractors was lower powered and this thing the servo the gears on this the on the server itself did not move and maybe with the tractors it kind of moved a little bit absorbing a little impact maybe that's what it is but with this guy this silver fell it fucked. It, it really effed up that silver horn. So this truck is back up and running. Just waiting for a part for my slash, and then my slash would be back up and running. I'm not going to be doing any hill climbing with this vehicle because I just it just don't have the power to do it. It just doesn't. This is a shame because it's such a nice truck. Okay, well, I will see you guys later. This is a long video. So I'm going to have to chop, chop, chop this up a little bit. Peace out. Oh, click like and subscribe.